Okay, so I've done loads of tests on SD cards on Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, I thought I'd do another test on this Samsung which I've not tested before. First of all on a Raspberry Pi 4 so I can compare it to all my other speed tests, all my other SD cards. Then I thought I'd test it on a Raspberry Pi 5. So first of all I'm going to write Raspberry Pi Imager to this 128 gig Samsung SD card. Okay, so let's pop it in my Pi 5. I can do this because I'm running the operating system from an M.2 drive at the moment. So let's write this with Raspberry Pi Imager, choose OS, Raspberry Pi OS, and we want the 64-bit version, which you can see is compatible with the Pi 3, 4, 400, and Pi 5, which is important for this test. So choose storage, and hit write, and yes. Okay, so that's all finished. So now I'm going to swap everything over to this Raspberry Pi 4. I need to unplug this because this is for the M.2 drive that's in the bottom here. So I'm going to run this obviously from SD card. Uh, so let's shut down. And I'm going to do the first boot on the Raspberry Pi 4. So unplug all my cables and plug them all back into the Raspberry Pi 4 because everything fits. Unplug this M.2 drive because obviously I want to boot from the SD card and let's switch on. And I forgot to plug the SD card in so it's gone into the Raspberry Pi netboot which is where you can automatically get it to install an operating system onto the Pi. The Pi 5 doesn't have this yet but I think it probably will have soon. So let's pop the SD card in and that will detect that and start to boot. Okay so I'm into the operating system, let's launch diagnostics and run tests and I always do this three times and I always pick the one with the best random read speed because I think that's what makes the most difference in an operating system. Okay so show log and what have we got? Well we've got a pass. So the random write speed wasn't that great in that first test, that's interesting. Right let's open up a text document, in fact let's get the speed test from my other video. And if we go all over to the right we can do a search, not sure why they hide it, SD card speed that'll do okay so 17 will be the last one i'm pretty sure and in the description i will have all the tests yeah here we are look let's copy all of that and put that in a text document and let's do that test again so reset and run test so i've just put them all in order of random read speed so the fastest at the top and uh, interestingly, it's some of the budget cards that are better, so Brave Eagle and Alert Seal were under £5, uh, just budget cards that I bought. Same with the Adroit Lark, uh, I think they're all probably from the same place. For consistency, I still really like the Kingston Canvas Go Plus A2 card. So you can see the sequential write speed is faster uh, than most of them, not the Adroit Lark. Uh, but the random write speed is really good. Uh, so random write and random read speed, those two are the more important things for running an operating system. And so where does the Samsung come? Well, it's actually all the way down here. Uh, so random read speed, 3400, which isn't terrible on the list. Uh, and random write speed, 731, which I thought was disappointing. Uh, it's, uh, it's only the Samsung Evo 32 that does worse on that. Again, sequential write speed is decent. It is a 128 gig card and I have been told that the test favours smaller cards. Um, so I have loads of 32 gig cards because I think they're really good for putting an operating system on, especially Linux, because you generally have enough space to be able to do what you need to be able to do. But I run an operating system with maybe 128 or 256 because then I can install other operating systems from it. But yeah, bear that in mind. So yeah, not, not bad, um, and Samsung Media tends to be reliable, so I'm pleased with that. But my overall recommendation for your main operating system would still be the Kingston Canvas Go. But for backup operating systems and testing things out, any of these three are absolutely fine. And I have written and rewritten these cards multiple times, use them for operating systems, they've always been good. Overall, I don't use my main operating system on an SD card because you can get much better results on fast USB sticks, although there's only a select few of those. SSD drives, I think, are really good value for money with a SATA USB cable. They work really well with the Pi 4 and the Pi 5. But M.2 is probably the best one for performance overall. NVMe, you don't see very many, but obviously with the new PCIe Express, we're going to see some really good 
NVMe speeds. Right, so I need to save this now, just on the desktop, because obviously I'm going to boot this on a Raspberry Pi 5 to give it a test. Shut down. Okay, so let's run those three tests again. So test number three. Let's show log and copy that into our document. Okay, so these are the three results at the top. So the best random read speed is the middle one. So let's get rid of the others and see where that now comes in. Well, it's the fastest sequential write speed I've had with an SD card. So let's move this next to the Pi 4 one. I need to put Pi 5 and Pi 4 just to be able to tell them apart. Uh, but the sequential write speed definitely improved a lot. 30,159 up to 46,315. Not double, but uh, quite a lot better. Random write speed improved a little. 731 goes to 818. Uh, but the random read speed uh, was a bigger improvement, which is from 3,400 up to 4,220. So that is a very good random read speed uh, that we're getting on the Pi 5. So that's nice to see. Uh, so it shows the, the card is more capable when it's inside a Pi 5. But I'll keep doing these tests and I'll do more on the Pi 5 as I buy more micro SD cards, some budget ones and some better ones as well. Uh, I'll just do more and just, just keep this up to date really. So I'll save that and I'll put that in the description. So for me it's still the Kingston A2 as my favourite micro SD card. Uh, because I've used that loads of times, I never do a, a speed test on a card I've used loads, apart from there's one SanDisk Extreme Pro that I had in my GoPro and I was testing it when I didn't have very many SD cards. But overall, all my tests, I do a fresh copy of the operating system and then I run the speed test just to make it all fair. Okay, so back to KDE Plasma, which is my main operating system. This is actually Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit but I've installed the KDE Plasma desktop onto it. I will be doing a video on how to do it. Uh, I just need to work out a few things that I want to be uh, better, and I've also got another operating system to review before I do that. But uh, this is running from an M.2 drive, uh, which is one of the fastest ways you can use an operating system on a Raspberry Pi 5 at the moment. But this is going through a USB hub, and the only reason I'm doing that is because I still haven't got my Raspberry Pi 5 power adapter. This is a Pi 4 one, which is not enough. It's 5 volt, 3 amp, or 5.1 volt, 3 amp, uh, and we should have a 5 volt, 5 amp for a Pi 5, especially when we're plugging in lots of USB devices. But because mine is plugged into this hub, which is a powered hub, I can plug in as much as I like, and it's not going to stress the Pi out. I'm not going to get any power warnings. Uh, so I'm going to run a speed test, but this is only for interest. This is not really something to be logged or anything like that, because if we're going to run a speed test, we want a fresh drive, plugged in directly into the USB 3 rather than through a hub. But let's do it anyway, because I'm interested. Diagnostics, and let's run tests. So of the three tests, again, I'll go with the random read speed as the main one. 5923 looks to be the fastest. So let's get rid of these two. And so, interesting results. Uh, ran sequential write speed, is 46,315 on the Samsung SD card, which is a 128 gig SD card. Uh, this is a 240 gig M.2 drive, and the sequential write speed is slower at 24,721. But the two main ones, which are random write speed for running an operating system and random read speed, uh, so random write speed is 4,990 compared to 818. So massive difference there, and a decent difference as well on the random read speed, 4,220 compared to 5,923. So even through this USB hub uh, and a drive that I've been using for all sorts of things, so not a fresh install or anything, this is much, much better, which was to be expected. But imagine when we've got the Pi 5 adapter and I can plug it directly in. And then imagine when I've got the PCIe adapter so I can run a drive directly through that, which should be even better. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.